Heather, many of us are familiar with the term fracking, but do we really know what it means or how it could affect our state's future? I sat down with two experts today to learn more. What is fracking and is it safe? Sure, it's a procedure that the oil and gas industry uses at the very end of the drilling process. And there's three components that go into hydraulic fracture stimulation. Number one, fresh water. Number two, sand. And number three, chemical that acts as a lubricant. Now 99.5% of that mixture is fresh water and sand. When we inject it at high pressure down the well bore, it cracks open the formation, which is very brittle and it allows oil and gas to travel to the surface. Now, more importantly, fracking is this tool that has allowed us to now find and unlock hundreds of years worth of natural gas and oil and is the essential tool that's behind the argument that America can be energy self-sufficient, it's instrumental, and it's essential to the industry. Is it safe? No, fracking is not safe. And that's why you're finding so many communities who are raising alarms about fracking. The process of hydraulic fracture this relatively new method of extracting natural gas is contaminating watersheds. And once you contaminate an underground aquifer, you don't clean it up. And I'll tell you that fracking is safe. It's a tool that's been utilized since the 40s in the United States. A million and a half wells have been fracked, and it's highly regulated. It's regulated by each state in the union. Where can people go if they have concerns about fracking in their community? You can go to major publications, you can go to the epa.gov, and what you're going to find out is each of these publications have different viewpoints. The debate and the conversation continues. You'll hear from the oil and gas industry that there are different studies that say different things. Same exact thing the tobacco industry said in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. That science is not conclusive. We are already seeing the impacts of fracking on human health, on the quality of our air and water. That's absolutely not true. There's counter viewpoints to all of this information out there, and there hasn't been any organization to come out and said that fracking is unsafe to your health, it's unsafe to communities. All of those things are complete misstatements. What are some of the available alternatives to natural gas? The alternatives to natural gas, the alternatives to coal and oil, are more cheap, more technically viable, and coming online in greater quantities than ever before. Here in California, our state will soon hit 33% of its power coming from solar and wind combined. What we're seeing across the country is hundreds of coal plants are coming offline, they're being retired, and they are increasingly being replaced by clean energy. There are no other types of energy that can displace coal, natural gas, and oil to power America. The EIA even says in the next 50 years, there is no way the technology that exists today can even be utilized to store the energy created when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining. So if California wants to get the bulk of their energy from wind and solar, they're gonna have very, very hard times in the nighttime when there's no energy coming from those two power sources. Is natural gas truly the answer to energy independence in the US? Good God, no. We have an opportunity to displace all fossil fuels steadily over the next several years and embrace clean energy in greater quantities. If Germany can get almost 50% of their power coming from the sun, why can't we? Why can't we? I think the quick answer is because the technology doesn't work. Is natural gas the answer to American energy independence? It's one half the equation, absolutely. Oil is the other half of that equation. We're married to foreign oil. We spend $300 billion a year bringing it in from the Middle East, from Venezuela, from countries that don't consider America their friend. We have a gift from Mother Nature. It's beneath our feet. It's called oil and natural gas. And there's hundreds of billions of barrels of oil and trillions of cubic feet of natural gas. It would be a travesty not to find a way to extract those two natural resources for the betterment of our country. Americans love convenience, Americans love reality, and the reality is that coal, natural gas, and oil are America's energy today and America's energy future tomorrow. In San Francisco, I'm Holly K. Meyer for California Life.